Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. It is your favorite host with the most, Benjamin Dutill, with the Horror Heathen YouTube channel and the South Jersey Horror Podcast. Today, I have a very special guest, uh, Denise Cisneros, who plays Olivia Romo in the movie Red Snow, which has been dubbed a Christmas movie, believe it or not. <laughs> I typed in movie. I typed in the search for horror Christmas movies, and Red Snow was like the fourth one on the list. I was like, "Dude, I've got to get someone on this movie on my show." So, well, thanks so, for having me. <laughs> no, thank you for doing this. Um, I'm I'm honored, and it's a huge pleasure for me. Um, the quick bio on you, from what I gather from the internet, and I hope this is true because the internet likes to spread rumors that are not true about people. And and it can be irritating sometimes. So I get asked questions all the time, like, "Hey, did you do this? Do that?" No. Where did you hear that from? Oh, social media. Not true. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you were born in San Jose, California, mm -hmm. um, and a, you are a first generation Mexican American, which is an awesome combination. I love. Very talented, obviously, because you're paid for this movie. So. Um, Driven from an early age, you fell in love with the stage by participating in plays and dance recitals. You attended a performing arts high school and graduated with a BFA in theater arts from San Francisco State University with Magna Cum Laude honors. That is an awesome achievement. Congratulations. That's that's huge in college. I wish I could have got that in college, but I never did. I never made that far. So. <laughs> I mean, I also majored in theater, so it was probably not hard, like, you know, a science field, but, yeah. but thank the, you. The only flex I have for college is getting a master's of criminal justice and getting accepted into the Golden Key International Honor Society. That's the only flex I have. That's that's good. That's that's a big flex. So that's all I have for on the college aspect anyway. So <laughs> I think that's awesome. And for this movie, we're talking about Red Snow. You won three awards. Uh, Best Actress at the Buenos Aires Rojo Sangre. Um, Best On-Screen Duo at the Genre Blast Film Festival. And the Mask Rogue Award for Best Performance for this movie at the Portland Horror Film Festival. Congratulations. That is awesome. It's That right there just tells you, like, hey, the casting director picked a very talented person, and you've earned it. So... I, I love this movie. It's one of my, now it's actually one of my favorite comedy horrors for Christmas of all things. That's very specific <laughs> genre, isn't it? <laughs> well, it thank is. You. So the synopsis of this movie is is very um, it's quirky in my opinion, um, even though it's a really funny movie. <laughs> it's a struggling vampire romance novelist must defend herself against real-life vampires during Christmas at Lake Tahoe. And all, all the, the the things that are put into this movie about Lake Tahoe, it's just ridiculous, but I love it. So, <laughs> I mean, why not use a setting, right? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful, Denise Cisneros, how are you doing? And thank you for joining me. Well, thank you for having me and I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here and also getting ready for some Thanksgiving food. I got to like bake some pies and stuffing and yeah, so I'm excited about that too. <laughs> I am totally looking forward to the deviled eggs. I mean, that's like my all-time favorite dish. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I love stuffing and pie. And maybe candy yams. I don't know. It depends. We'll see what the, see what the day is, how it goes. So it depends who's cooking, actually. On who's cooking yeah. of the food. And that is very I'm true. Not, I'm not cooking, that's for sure, because I'll mess things up in the kitchen. Don't don't look at me. You don't, like, help out at all? Like, you don't do, like, a little side dish? Well, before I joined the military, I was a short-order breakfast cook. So wow. that's, like, my specialty is, like, short-order food for breakfast. That is, that, that's my extent in, in the cooking skills. So... <laughs> Hey, at least you can, you know, hang out in the kitchen. And hopefully not burn the house down because the smoke alarm has gone off several times while it's cooking. So. Oh, really? <laughs> it's okay. 
So to dig into this movie, the Redstone, with an awesome cast, they have you, they have Vernon Wells, um, and the other people who play the vampires. Um, I forgive you, I forgot their names already, even though I just watched the movie. Um, but still, a fantastic movie. I loved it. I mean, it, it was not what I expected because the cover behind you is showing something fierce and nasty and a bloody vampire. <laughs> I know, right? She looks really like damn scary. It's like, but to find the opposite what you're about to what you're about to see is what this movie is all about. So um everyone's expecting, oh, it's scary, it's bloody. With the way there's blood and there's gore, but there's also some funny scenes in it, which I love so much. Um, especially your role as a <laughs> Robo. She is like the quirkiest romance novelist I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, she she's a lot of fun. Yeah, and I relate to her a lot. Well, you did it so well. You you nailed the role exceptionally well in this Punish movie. Um, in my opinion, I don't know. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I think you, you nailed it. You had it's it's, it's spot on. So I'm super glad the casting director chose you for this role because you did it. I mean, I don't think anyone else could have done it better. So, um. How did you hear about the role of Olivia Romo? Uh, well, the director and writer, Sean, uh, Sean Lynch, he, we actually ran into each other at a restaurant where I was hosting. And I haven't seen him since college. So it's been like several years. And we just chit-chatted. And I get an email from him like maybe months or like weeks later where he was like, hey, I wrote this with you in mind. Um, I would love for you to play Olivia. Now, Sean and I, we had like a, a class or several classes together where he was like working the film um, major in SF State and they needed actors. So I would like participate, but we never got to work together. So I was completely flattered because I always wanted to work with him, but we never got a chance to. And I always like loved his work. So I knew I was like, oh, it's going to be great. I'm just going to say yes. But he's like, no, just, you know, read the script and everything. And I'm like, okay. But yeah, I mean, I love the script and he, and I just like collaborated a lot. And I think what was hard was since he wrote this with me in mind, I felt like, you know, we didn't like hang out a lot in college. Like he has like this idea of me, uh, of how I am. I got to like, how do I do that? Or like convincingly or like, I mean, I did relate a lot to Olivia, which was easy and his writing like, what like flowed really well. So that made it easier as well. But I also put like pressure on myself of like, oh, how do I convey like, this perception and I hope that he has of me. And then I hope um, that I can do that well with this character, Olivia, but um, it actually worked out really nice because it did feel like none of the, the language was easy for me to just say. And so I was like, wow, he's really good at like, reading me. I mean, this is pretty spot on. This is kind of like how I am in real life. So uh, his writing and everything just made it a lot easier. And also, uh, yeah, so I couldn't really say, like, I couldn't say no. I'm like, I get to work and I get to work with you. And uh, yeah, so that's how I heard about the role. That's awesome. That That's it's, it's, it's cool how that came together like that. I mean. No, I guess the, the other way to actually it, by knowing someone is like a shoe in, I guess. I don't know, but um, but I'm glad it worked out for you. I really am, because that the, 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 that's like true inspiration. It was like meant to be. It's like fate. Hey, hey, this is supposed to happen. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm so yeah. glad we ran into each other. <laughs> yeah, that your was character great. goes. Your, your character goes from like the scared little buddy rabbit novelist to a badass vampire slayer at the end. <laughs> that's yeah. going on. <laughs> I that's how I describe her. Like she's a badass. Like, yeah, she's a complete badass. And watch like, out, Blade. You got your competitions. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, in your own words, can you describe what 
Olivia is like. Yeah, she's, I say she's honest and she, yeah, she's a struggling writer and she's a loner and an optimistic badass. That's how I would describe her. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) And she saw the opportunity of a vampire just is in my garage. I'm going to use this as an advantage to write my novel. So. What a perfect kismet. <laughs> like, of course, like I need some writing material. I write about vampires. There's a vampire in my garage. Like, I mean, why not? This is great. Yeah. First hand insight for a novel. It's like, <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I could just what, ask. What, better way, what better way to get insight from an actual living vampire? So <laughs> now Very that only happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know like shortly at the beginning of the movie um, you're outside and you close the door and you hear like a thud on the, on the glass door so it's obviously the bat burning the door was that like a genuine scare or was that something you were expecting to happen <laughs> it, I mean I, it was like a lot of mm, the majority of all the scenes were done like first take and everything, even though we would like rehearse like movements and camera work uh, beforehand. So when the bat like thud, I mean, I know we had um, our production designer uh, and our uh, makeup artist, uh, they would like throw the bat every once in a while against the window. But I mean, from my angle, I couldn't see them. So it was like a genuine reaction for me because even though like, of course, you know, it's going to happen it's in the script and everything. But since a lot of it was done, like first take, I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> you know, so it was fun. And instead of watching me, I saw your reaction. I was like, that's a genuine scare. I saw that. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I like how Luke, the the bill of the bill the, the, the ties into it. And how he plays out to like to be this badass character, but in the end, he does be this really sweet guy who starts falling for Olivia. And then next thing you know, the rest of his gang shows up, and like, oh shit, I need to change my tune now because you know these guys are here. <laughs> oh. Guys change. <laughs> so, um, Vernon Wells, such an excellent actor. I love him so much. What was it like working with him on the set? Well, he wasn't there for the whole, like, so we shot this film in like 11 days. So that's why I say a lot of it was done, like first take. um, And then we just had to like move on. And, uh, but in between takes and everything, when he was there, I think he was on set maybe two or three days at most. And in between takes, he would talk to everybody. So it's not like he ever went off on his own. He was very social and um, yeah, talked to everyone on set, which was really nice. And then also he went like full out on everything. Even when we would just like rehearse like movements and everything, he would just go full out. Uh, And I'm like, oh, because you know, this is the part where he's like, you know, choking me. I'm like, ah! (laughs) But yeah, he just like goes balls to the wall. He gives it his all and everything. And it was really like, you can see like his confidence as well, where he would just kind of go off script and, um, and just like would ad lib lines. And it was really nice to see like someone that was confident, just kind of like, you know, own and try different things, uh, which was really cool. And he wasn't afraid of blood at all. He was like, yeah, just like get all the blood on him. And he wasn't, he didn't mind that at all. Well, he's been around. He's seen a few things. So, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very true. So a legendary actor. I- I'm hoping to get him on him on my show one day. I've been trying for for years, but you know, he's hard to get a hold of. So, um, I'll get him eventually. I'm I'm very optimistic. I'll get him eventually. He's a character. Like also. He would also just try different things too. When we would do like that one interaction where we're on the couch, um, a lot of them were, yeah, I mean, genuine reactions to be honest, because I think when I would be going into a scene, you know, you have an idea of what something's going to like turn out to be. 
um but he read like certain lines from like what the hell like oh okay um <laughs> like how but he he played and that's what acting is about like having fun and trying different things and um you know surprising people with like genuine reactions of just like being in the moment and I really liked that it, he didn't ever play it like safe or generic which was fun I wish I was there to see all this stuff behind the scenes that would have been awesome to see yeah I mean, it was I was very fortunate um, <laughs> I do I do have a favorite scene in the movie um towards the end where like you drive away in the Mercedes and you call the Severn company the Severn group and you ask the guy, did you guys really kill all the candy elves? <laughs> the guy just said, what the fuck is a candy elf? I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I mean, there's vampires. Why wouldn't I? Can't, I mean, how would I? How am I supposed to know that that doesn't exist? You know, it's like a genuine question. <laughs> like, I don't know who to trust <laughs> at that point. It's like the last three vampires. Did a vampire tell you that too? No. <laughs> also she's a very honest character some may say gullible but you know i think because a lot of people say that i'm naive and gullible but i'm very honest so i would just assume you know i would get the same in return but yeah some people take yeah. advantage of that do you have any favorite scenes in the movie whatsoever Ooh, favorite scenes um it's really hard. I, I mean, I always liked uh, my scenes with Nico Bellamy, like the character, um, the actor who plays Nico. I mean, the actor who plays Luke. And just because it was just easy, free flowing, and uh, like the ones in the garage, and then also when we're like writing, uh, getting some ideas, brainstorming for my novel. I really liked that. And um, let me see. Uh, yeah, I I think probably those would be like my favorite scenes. Yeah, uh, that was like, it just felt easy. And um, I really like working with Nico. Well, I, feel, I kind of feel sorry for Nico for wearing your mother's clothes throughout the whole the entire duration of the movie. He looked <laughs> good in them though, that pink dress. Like, I you know it's funny when we were doing, um, we were doing like fittings like months before we started shooting and everyone was generally like, oh, wow, that pink dress looks really good on you. That definitely has to be in the film. Like it, it, it just flattered him, like the the halter and yeah, he looked good. You can pull it Are off. You jealous? <laughs> A little bit because I'm like, I don't think that would suit me very well. Like but yeah no i think he looked great he looked great in that dress well aside all that stuff um evidently you it seems you guys had a lot of fun on set it's a really good movie well produced well acted the dialogue is perfect the transitions were great i mean like i said i'm not very big on vampire movies but this one is now one of my favorite ones so oh, thank you yeah, it's, it's, it's it's great I, I was like i had to watch it again this morning and this morning, like literally, like ten minutes before this interview started, I had I, I just finished watching it. So, um, I want. I hope it's a sequel. I really do, and hope to bring you back because. <laughs> I know I would love for there to be like a sequel, or I mean, just to even work with Sean and like everybody, from, like the crew again. I mean, I'd be like on board, on set, like ready to go. <laughs> I want to know what happened because it, it kind of left a, cl a cliffhanger at the end. You were sitting Luke in the garage and trying to finish another novel. I want to know what happens after that. I mean, there's got to be more to the story. Oh, so. there's definitely more. I mean, can you imagine like <laughs> Olivia with her? I mean, she has him enslaved. Like, oof, she probably does like some stuff in the garage with him. I mean, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, like I, I'm very curious of like. Um, what happens to her after even like a backstory with like the Severon group I think that would be interesting too like a prequel or something that'd be awesome yeah, yeah. that would be fun so inquiring minds want to know if there's going to be a sequel or not I'm going to write to Hollywood or somebody and say hey make a prequel or a sequel to Red so bring back 
Denise, um, Denise and Cisneros and do something about it because I want to know what happens before and after. I mean, you got to have a before and after, no matter what. You got to have you gotta have a trilogy. I'm sorry, it, especially this kind of movie. There's got to be a trilogy. I mean, a lot of horror films, they do have, you know, multiverses and like, you know, sequels, trilogies. There's like the Seven Scream movie that they're making. So, yeah, I'll let Sean know and maybe hopefully we'll make another one. We'll see. <laughs> All right, as we're winding down, um, I also need to know if there's any upcoming movies or projects that you're working on that I can promote on my social media accounts. Well, um, I mean, it was, it did air uh, last year, but it's still on on Netflix, uh, Who Killed Santa, a Murderville murder mystery. And that's with Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, uh, Maya Rudolph, Pete Davidson, and uh so that's still on if you want to like watch it it's great for like the holiday season and also you can catch me on a capital one commercial uh starring alongside the grinch another holiday <laughs> like uh spirit uh type of medium and then um i do have an upcoming ballet show uh it's like a holiday ballet show on December 1st and 2nd for see around ballet works. If anybody wants to see a ballet show. So yeah. That, I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> I know a lot of holidays. And Christmas. <laughs> hey, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, maybe I have a niche of like playing characters where Christmas is threatened in some sort of way, but it's always like Christmas, but off kilter or something. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I, that's not like a bad niche to be in. So I'm happy. Well, I believe Olivia Rubo saved Christmas in Red Snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. You've been wonderful. Um, and I hope I get to see you in more movies and more plays, commercials, whatever. And I want to see more awards on your IMDb page. Because you are a very talented actress, and I love what you did in Red Snow. So oh, thank you very much. I wish you nothing but the best with your career, and a very prosperous career. Now that the strike has ended, and I'm hoping everyone is. I hope I hope everyone is where they need to be. So thank you very much. I hope so too. <laughs> and again, same for you as well. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That, that means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful Denise Cisneros from Red Snow, who plays the living room. Check it out. It is on Freebie and Tubi. It is a really good movie and it's a really good Christmas movie, which I believe will be a great Christmas a gateway movie for your kids because it's not too bad. So <laughs> you can give those holiday Hallmark uh, movies a break and you can go for Red Snow. Exactly. I'm, oh my God! Don't give me starting hallmark, please. No, no, not happening. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. You've been fantastic, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Oh, you too. Thank you so much, and yeah, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you.